applying a scope to a query in the Query tool in Atlas TI 9 Windows. Here you see the Query tool. Let's create a simple proximity query using the co-occurs operator. The result of this query relates to the entire project. If you want to restrict the results to only parts of the project, you need to open the Scope tool. In the Scope tool, you can select documents or document groups to filter the results. The filtered results are shown in the quotation reader below the query. The adjusted number is shown in the status bar. To change the scope, delete the current one and make a new selection. It is also possible to create a more complex scope by combining documents or document groups using Boolean operators. Here we have selected AND to combine respondents with a high school degree who have children. This yields no results. Let's see what happens if we change the educational status. We get one quotation from respondents with some college education, and four quotations from respondents with a university degree. You may have noticed that there are a few smart groups in this list of document groups. If you need a combination of document groups more often, it makes more sense to create smart groups for those. There's also a video tutorial showing how smart groups are created. You'll find the link in the comment field below. If your analysis is more exploratory, then it is useful to create the various possible combinations in the scope tool on the fly, as we've shown here.